Hey guys, welcome to Alona TV. We are here at Nordic Fitness Expo in Lahti. And let me tell you this, for the last minutes, I've been sitting here and trying to get my guest's name right. I don't know what it is, but today I just can't pronounce it right. Thor, could you please? Sure, my name is Hafthor Julius Björsson. See how hard? <laughs> <laughs> because well, you, did, you did it pretty, pretty well before. Hafthor Julius this, this is what happens every time I try to say it. So let's just move on. Thank you for the patience with me today. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Thanks for having me. How do you like it here in Finland? You came yesterday. Mm -hmm. It's been nice so far. Good to meet, meet my fans here. It's, uh, uh, it's yeah, going pretty good. It's going very well, you know. It's, it's nice to be here in Latte, mm -hmm. meeting a lot, of, a lot of my fans. Mm. This is not your first time. You was in uh, Helsinki before. Yeah, I've been in, in Helsinki before for a competition. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, it's not my first time to Finland, no. Yeah. Uh, you actually visited um, CrossFit Basement Gym in Helsinki. Yeah. Remember? The gym? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's actually um, my fiancé's gym. Oh, really? Yeah, so I couldn't make it. I was so mad when I heard that you was there. Small world. Yes, really, it is. really small world. Um, mm. You started as a basketball player. Yeah, correct. Right. How did you move into uh, strongman competitions, and how did that change? Well, I was. Oh, I've always been fan of lifting weights. Mm -hmm. It was in 2007 I decided to uh, take a break from basketball. It was a break, but. Mm. At that time, I, I want to take a break because I was always injuring myself. Mm -hmm. I, I, I broke my wrist. I broke my uh, uh, leg uh, three times or two times, you know. So, uh, second time I broke it, I had to have a surgery for the second time. I was so tired of always getting injured, you know. I was, it was a hard progress for me because um, there was always something wrong, wrong with my with my uh, foot, so I was always getting injured more and more, and uh, that's the reason I, I decided to take a little bit break from the best ball and decided to uh, try to put some more you know strength on and lift more in in in, in, the, in the weight room, mm -hmm. and I just fell in la love with the weights, and since then I've been uh, training and. Uh, and moving forward, you know, uh, I tried in the beginning. I tried uh, powerlifting. Mm -hmm. I did some uh, uh, shows there, competitions, and uh, I was always improving myself. Then I remember in uh, 2009, I, I tried my first uh, strongman show, mm -hmm. and I just totally fell in love. I, I, I loved how friendly that sport is, and and and. Uh, and just uh, how good it is, you know. Mm -hmm. You just have to, you know, lift things up, move them, and, and be as strong as possible. When the was the moment that you like knew that okay, this is my thing, and I'm not gonna do basketball anymore? Pretty soon, mm -hmm. I felt pretty soon in, in in love with the weights. Pretty soon, I I decided, you know, I'm there's no turning back. You know, it's it's. But I would say, you know. For sure, it was probably around 2008, 2009. I was like 100%. I'm not going back. Okay, but when was the moment that you realized that you were actually good at it? Like you can really make it in strongman. I decided in, in 2009 that I was going to give it a go because um, in my first show, I broke an Icelandic record in uh, carrying a, a stone. And after that, I, I, I told myself, okay, well, uh, you know, I'm, 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 I'm just naturally gifted with, with, with strength. I'm uh, very strong, uh, moving things around and, and holding things and, and, you know, just, yeah. So uh, 2000, 2011, I, I did my first uh, World Songs Band competition. And then a year lay, 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 later, I, I placed third. I won now already Iceland's man six years in a row. I won Eurosong's man two two times and I, I won a lot a lot of contests around, around the world. For example, 
I won a few of the Arnold shows, Arnold Classic shows. Arnold I'm so Stroman. jealous that you met Arnold. <laughs> I met him a few times. And, <laughs> yeah. and, and, and he's actually a very nice guy, very yeah. nice, very humble. Uh, I have a lot of uh, respect for him. I always want to make, make that, you know, announcement. You know, he's, he's a great guy. He's uh, some, someone that I look a lot up to, you know. He has, yeah. he has a lot of, lot, lot of pace, patience and, you know, he's... He's always so nice to his fans and, and, yeah. and people around him. Do you have anyone else that uh, really look up to in this uh, weightlifting industry or someone else who's been motivating you? There's a lot of people that have been, you know, motivating me. For example, in the strongman sport, you know, John Paul Samuelson, who won the World, you know, the world Strongman title four, four times. Uh, Bill Kalkasmeyer won the title three times, and 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 I was actually a big fan of you know um, bodybuilding before I went into strongman. So when I started training, I, I was always following you know guys like um, like Dorian Yates yes. and 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 Ronnie Coleman. Mm -hmm. Those were the guys that I loved to watch because they were not only just big and you know a lot of muscle, but they were strong as well. You were saying that uh, when you was doing basketball, you got injured a lot. But when you stopped uh, playing basketball and you started doing uh, uh, weightlifting and uh, strongman contests, and uh, have you been getting injured as much, or did it stop, or how did it go? I've been, uh, you know, I guess, you know, the older I get, the 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 wiser I, I get, the, mm -hmm. the, the more. Uh, nowadays, I, I I know my body a lot better than I than I did before. Mm -hmm. I, I know how to uh, treat my body right. I know how to uh, make sure I don't get badly in, in, uh, injured and, and 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 so on. So I, I always make sure I treat my body well enough. I, I get my sleep in. I I uh, there's all of those small things to you know get your massage in and in. Mm -hmm. And just treat yourself. You know, my body is my work, so I have to treat it well. I treat it as well as possible, and, and that's the main reason I don't get in injured, injured uh, as much as maybe some other guys. Because you know, I don't stay out late. I don't party. I don't drink. I don't smoke. I don't do things that you know could injure me. I just I'm, I'm, I'm focused all the all year year round. If you would go back in time would you start would you like skip the basketball or and start right away weightlifting now that you know how things went or is there anything you would change uh, no not really you know I've, I've learned a lot from my life and you know I've, I've, uh, all the ways I've, 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 I've been going you know it's 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 made me the guy who I am today and I'm, 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 I'm happy with the person I am today I'm always getting better and better you know and and I'm, I'm just really pleased and and happy how my life you know with direct direct with direct direction it, it went you know you are a really big guy that's not the first time you hear it uh, when you was a younger like in your childhood you was probably bigger than other kids how was your childhood Did, like was there any bullying about you know how was your childhood like uh, i never got you know bullied you know maybe you know obviously when you're young you know kids say something you know mm -hmm. something you know i remember maybe few few things you know guys saying you know why don't you play with your own age because all my friends were so smaller than me because I was so tall that's really the only thing I remembered but you know I, it didn't really bother me because I, I knew I was you know playing with my you know mates that were same age, age like me I was just a lot tall, taller than them. <laughs> reason I'm curious about that because my son is really tall and uh, he's always been bigger than everybody else and yeah, I've been what about yeah. your family like mom and dad what's the uh, most important lesson you have learned from your father uh, you know never give up believe in yourself and and and, and be focused and and and, and 
do what you love. He has always supported me in 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 everything I've done, and and he is. M me and my father are very close, and and we talk a lot together, and and he's been help helping me a lot with my decisions throughout the year. You know, which direction I should should take, and 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 when I started to lift, and when I when when I decided to um, quit basketball. Mm -hmm. At the first, he wasn't really, really, really happy with my decision, but soon he he was very pleased, and you know he was very talented in basketball. Yeah, and he was very supportive. He's always been very supportive to me. Um, when is the last time you have met someone who is bigger than you? That's a good question. I don't really meet a lot of people that are you know taller than me, uh, but you know. I would say probably just you know when I was competing at the uh, World Songs Man, there's one guy, uh, Brian Shaw from from uh, um, um, America, mm -hmm. who is uh, he, who weighs over 200 ki kilograms. Mm -hmm. He's probably around 210 kilograms, and he is uh, we're about the same height, okay. but he is he is heavier heavier than me, so he makes me sometimes feel smaller. <laughs> That's not common for you to feel it's small. It's not common, you know, but. <laughs> But when I when I compete at the World Series, man, I uh, sometimes I feel just like a regular guy because the guys are all that are all just so hu so huge and so strong and so big. Mm -hmm. uh, how did you get into acting? How did you get get your role in uh, the famous Game of Thrones? Uh, I got that role. 2013, they were filming in. Uh, in Iceland, and they were looking for a new new character to to play the uh, the mountain, and and they, yeah, like I said, they were filming in in in, in Iceland, and they wanted to meet up with me, and they just they just felt straight in love, even though I had no acting experience and I'm not learned an an, 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 an actor, they just you know they felt in love with the strength, uh, with the power with the flexibility, uh, with how good I was moving with the sword and everything. I was very talented and I was very, you know, I, I, I learned very fast to use the sword. I had to do some uh, classes with swords, but they saw straight away, like, this guy has the talent, this guy has what we need mm -hmm. to play the mountain. Yeah. So they just, you know, Soon they 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 said you you got you get the job. We are we are here now at the Nordic Fitness Expo and he has a lot of fans waiting. So we will uh, let him go. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you. Thanks Hope for having I see me. See you again, and we'll do uh, another interview sometimes again. Definitely. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye bye.